All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, got a little news for you guys right now, man. Um, Not a whole lot this morning. We got your boy Mike Wong talking about ankle breakers. Uh, Finally breaking the radio silence on that. Uh, We've got, you know, we got uh, we got the new park, the little preview of the new park coming up. Uh, we got the OG Grandmaster Sensei talking about ISO versus screens and all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, we got a little surprise for y'all at the end of this, man. So make sure you like the video so that the notifications can go out. If you don't like the video, the notifications won't go out. Views going to be down. People probably won't even see the video. And it'll be just like my Cronus video that I put up last week that was giving you guys hella information. Probably one of the first videos up on it and definitely the most informative and nobody got to see it. Uh, also, go back and watch that Raising with Random 99 on the line from last night, man. But uh, other than that, let's get right into the video right after this. Nino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that habit. All right, so just to start it off, ladies and gentlemen, your boy Mike Wong has been tweeting. And let's see how accurate what he said is. Boom. You've got uh, Mike Wong says you should you should be seeing more ankle breakers today. Play with it for play. Play with it for a while and let me know if it's good now. And uh, Bruno Sim, he drops this uh, at the same time that Mike did that. He drops the devious the devious Loki laugh type deal, man. And you know, uh, that, that's that's one of those classic, classic gifs. Uh, you know, you got your boy Swante to say revert, revert speed boosting changes. They definitely need to do that, man, because you, you can't move out there. You feel like you're sluggish and you're in war and stuff like that. And uh, you know, uh, uh, then he also comes back and say, why do you genjutsu us, Michael, uh, buff ankle breakers? Now, I don't know if you guys have played the game since, since then or not. But I can tell you one thing. I watched Brute play yesterday. He came out with his uh, play, with his playmaker, and uh, the, I, the point forward had his playmaking taken. People were still just rushing him because they already knew what time it was. You weren't. He wasn't gonna be able to uh, break him down or do anything. I watched and I was like, dang. It really got to the point where he really just was like, forget it, I'm going back to my play shop because this is pointless, it's useless. And so that would let you know that it's not quite right. If Brutus Sim can't get an ankle breaker, bro, like something is wrong, man. Something is really wrong. If he can't get one, that means that probably nobody can get one. I also watched Statistic Stream. They got ankle breakers on bots. And I'm not talking about people that just can't play the game. I ain't talking about that type of bot. I'm talking about they got anchor breakers on bots like when people dropped out of the game, quit out of the game or whatever. They were able to anchor break and drop the bots. But you can't anchor break and drop human beings and I just don't understand why. With all of the sliding and all that stuff on defense, I don't. I just don't get it. Why is it possible to fix the paint defense? They done buffed the paint defense. Shooting got them buffed. Um, what, what's the other tank over? Post, post scores, they don't need no buff. They can still do what they want to do. But the ankle breakers, they just don't work. And and it's like, it's literally no point in having a, a, a playmaker. You got a playmaker on your team, you trying to do ankle breakers, bro. It's just like, like, what's the point? You might as well go make a play shot because your takeover is literally useless. Unless you want to give that 110 diamond to your teammates. But if they know that you can't, they already in the nerve dribbling so you can't move as fast. And so that's going to make it harder for you to break down the defense. So if you can't break down the defense and you can't, you can't drop anybody, What's the point of having a playmaker? You might as well go make a play shot. Cause at that point, if you could drop people or if you could hit them with ankle breakers and stun them and, and 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 make it so that you could score a lot easier, then people would have to respect you. They'd probably have to come out down the three point line. You could drop them from, from three to five feet away and stuff like that. That would be cool because then they would have to commit more resources to you. But as it stands, if you're a playmaker, you're literally a liability. Cause they know you can't shoot. You know what I'm saying? Like the average playmaker can't shoot. Everybody ain't brutal saying where they could hit where they were able to hit or find a way to hit because they're shooting with the shot stick and stuff. Most people just, they just can't shoot at all. So, you know, it is what it is. But like I said, they definitely need to buff ankle breaking some more, man. Uh, that That's one of those things that's just, it, it just needs to be done, man. That, that's just my little rant on that. Up next, man, check it out. Boom. We got uh, another Halloween, you know, at the park, man. You know, they got the little preview. The little preview popping like they had on NBA 2K uh uh, what was that? 20? We had the we that was that was the one of the first ones where we had you know things going, and that's a little look at the park. Then we have a, a little bit a little bit better look at the park. Let me mute that right now because that's that's obnoxiously loud. I didn't mean to do that, but you know you get a little bit get a little bit better uh, preview of it. But 
a lot of people are looking at this like like that. I'm looking at it just like Nate is looking at it. And uh, it's just like, look, remember last year, we had, we had Halloween until Christmas. Let that sink in. That's all I want y'all to know. So pretty much if you're staying on, um, if you're staying on current gen, yeah, you probably are, uh, it's probably a done daughter for you. That's going to be the park you'll be looking at until the end of, uh, until the end of current gen, because once they switch it out, it's a wrap, my guy. I mean, like that, that's the last part that we're going to get the whole this gen. And that's cool though, man. Like I said, I wish they, I wish what they would have done is rotate the parks a little bit more. I mean, all you're doing is really reskinning it. And it's obvious that they're not working on stuff like ankle breaking and stuff. So I just don't get like why, why we can have, a, you know, parks in a, in a little bit other iterations and stuff like that, man. That's just my, my question or whatever, but it is what it is. I can't, uh, I can't hate on it, man. Like I said, I don't know what it takes to program these games. I don't know how much, how many resources they allow to commit to it. But I mean, look at this, man. Like, just look, look. Like, people stepping up on this dude when he got his takeover, bro. It doesn't make sense. Nobody would dare do that in 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 2K20. Uh, they would be sitting there holding their nuts and stuff. Like, I mean, he, it, it, it doesn't even make sense. He straight up retreated. Like, in 2K20, what would have happened? He would have hit him with that dude, would have fallen, or he would have stumbled or something. He could have gone to the rim, or he would have taken the jump shot. Brute shoot the ball. If you stumble, he shoot. That's just how it is. That's how a lot of us do in real life. But, you know, um, that's just how that goes. And, uh, you know, we get a little flotation device in depth. I'm just saying, like, it just really makes your playmaker a liability when he can't get ankle breakers. And I know that ankle breakers aren't really real, but neither is dunking on three people at the same time. Like, it ain't a spin. Like, we know this game ain't real. We know that it's not supposed to be even anything that mimics real life. I'm just going to stop pretending and just let you know. You're not going to have people shooting from the hash all the time. You don't have people dunking the basketball every time they go to the rim. Screams don't vacuum you in real life. So it's far from real life. I don't want to hear the real life argument. It's both, this is just highlight basketball, whatever, whatever. And you can't get an ankle breaker with a grand badge on. Look at this dude, full court pressing him, bro. Like what? Are we serious? Like obviously we get the dub, but you know, it's just, I, I, I don't get it, man. But uh, that's pretty much all I got for y'all today on the news front, man. But I do want to show y'all, I do want to show y'all a couple of uh, a couple of quick videos. Let me see if this, bro, this right here I found, I found hilarious uh, just because just because you know there's two talented individuals that that uh, they just cutting up, man. And this is uh this is Jeanette Reyes and uh you know Robert Burma. They're talking about <laughs> how people think anchors talk at home. Let's listen real fast. Morning live here in the kitchen. Your time now is 5:52, and we're trying to figure out what we'd like for for dinner. So the options are right now: lasagna, chicken fettuccine alfredo, or a ribeye. If you can help us out here, we'd love to hear from you. Send us <laughs> an email at 7abc.com and let us know what the choice is for tonight. Robert. All right, Jeanette, thanks. In the meantime, I am checking out home, and a lot of people seem to be in favor. Hold on. My boy Temp Fade. Fido. Oh, he, he. That's Steve. That's Steve that Harvey state. type territory, uh, my boy. Of course, I mean me. So when that steak is done, let me know. I like it medium rare, as you know. And when it's done, I will meet you at the dining room table. But for now, live in the kitchen on the other side of the bar, Robert Burton. Not for real, though. What are you trying to eat? I can do McDonald's. You know that new quarter pound to slap. <laughs> anyway, man, I just thought that was funny. But last but not least, man, we got some we got some stuff from my boy the OG Grandmaster Sensei talking about ISO, and I'm not gonna lie. Let's let's just listen real quick and I'm gonna comment on that. We're gonna let y'all get up out of here. Bro, why people dislike it so much nowadays and just just bots in general? You know why? Why? Because it's embarrassing, bro. Really? When you get put on an island, <laughs> my nigga, and shown that you have no defense, it's the most embarrassing thing on 2K. And you get cooked over and over and over again. <laughs> it hurts, my nigga. It hurts your pride. It hurts your soul. <laughs> At least with screens, it, you know, it, it's not as obvious that you have no defense, right? That's why niggas hate ISO. It's embarrassing. And that's pretty much what we gonna lead up right now, boy. But boy, what I'm saying, he, was, he made an excellent video, you know. It was, it was just talking about ISO versus screens, blah, 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 how people feel about it and all this stuff. But I ain't gonna lie, man. When they put you out there on that island and you out there by yourself, it is quite embarrassing. Quite embarrassing. <laughs> that's doing it. It is, man. Let me know. Tell me your story about, like, being out there on the island. Because everybody has a designated defender on their team. 
and a lot of times people just, I, you know I, I normally used to take the uh take the playing defense on top and stuff like that but bro i'm telling you it's lonely on that island sometimes you out there trying to play defense and it just ain't nothing you can do the person hit they you just like you got it my boy and all you can really do is try to limit his threes and if you can hit your three-point opportunities and stuff like that it don't matter if he put 17 on you only time it really matter if you put 17 on you know, if he go like four for four from three and some stuff like that man but hey i ain't gonna lie boy, it's lonely on that island let me know if you done had experience being on that island and how lonely it is and then people had a nerve to 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 say it's your fault that they lost the game even like bro i got three Three, four stops and y'all smoke them shots that's why we lost like you know people it's just it's just human nature we always think about what somebody else did and we never really think about our part in the whole thing but anyway that's all i got for y'all this morning man let me know what y'all think down in the comment section is that why people hate iso and try to shy away from it because it's hard not down on that island it's lonely on that island and, you, and it's, it's it's hard when you're getting cooked man or is it just uh is it something else i don't know man anyway i'm gonna at y'all next time man hope y'all have a wonderful day make sure you like the video and subscribe for more daily 2K content. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys,